Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Iris Shaders and I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Iris Shaders on the new Minecraft launcher. So the new Minecraft launcher came out recently and it's been a couple of days now since we were able to upgrade our old Minecraft launcher into the new Minecraft launcher and for those of you who have tried to install Iris Shaders, some of you might have noticed that it doesn't actually do the same thing that it used to do when we were installing iris shaders on the old minecraft launcher so i'm going to show you guys how to actually install the iris shaders installer on the new minecraft launcher i have actually done a video recently on how to upgrade your old minecraft launcher into the new minecraft launcher so do make sure to check that one out if you already haven't done so and now i'm going to show you guys how to download the iris shaders installer and then how to actually go ahead and install iris shaders using the new minecraft launcher all right so as you guys can see i am on the latest version of minecraft the java edition so as of today's date this is the latest release which is a version 1.17.1 for minecraft the java edition and i am using the latest minecraft new launcher as you guys can see this is the new improved minecraft launcher okay so now we're going to go to the main iris shaders website so let's open up our internet browser and just start typing in irisshaders.net so go to this website which is iris shaders all one word dot net and this is the main website so as you guys can see it says this is iris a lens into a new era of minecraft graphics for those of you who don't know this is essentially a shaders mod similar to optifine which allows us to use shaders on the fabric platform for minecraft java edition so just click on download now and then now we can actually download this iris installer now this installer is really cool because it actually comes with fabric and it comes with sodium bundled all into one it's a really nice installer i really do like using this installer so just click on the download universal jar and that should start the download all right so i've placed the file on my desktop as you guys can see if you guys have not already done so do also make sure that you are on the latest version of java so just type in java jdk 17 in your search bar and download the latest java jdk installer and upgrade your java on your system that will then allow you to open up this java jar file as you guys can see i can now right click on this file click on open with and i can select java platform se binary for the iris shaders installer so i'm going to click on that and it's going to bring us to this screen okay so previously with the old launcher what we used to be able to do is select the game version so i'm going to select 1.17.1 okay, so i'm going to hit install now and it's going to download and install the iris installer for us so i'm going to close this down and now i'm going to go into minecraft launcher and you guys will notice that there's no creation or no installation for iris and sodium so in the previous launcher for minecraft what used to happen is that in the drop down over here it would say iris and sodium and if you clicked on installations it would say iris and sodium as well over here at the moment it's not doing that because this is a new minecraft launcher and the iris shaders installer has not been updated so later down the line they may update this so you guys won't actually come into this situation but for now this is how we're going to install it if we do click on new installation if we click on on the versions bit here and we just scroll down there is no mention of iris shaders on here either so we can click on cancel and let's close down the launcher again now i'm going to click on the iris installer again and we're going to select a different option this time so in the game version again select 1.17.1 because that is the latest as of today's date we're now going to tick this box which says install as a fabric mod so as you guys can see we've got a checkbox here i'm going to tick that and what that's going to do is going to install iris shaders as a mod so it's going to install fabric as a mod loader and it's going to put the iris and sodium jar file inside the mods folder so essentially we're using iris shaders as a mod similar to how you would do it with forge and optifine so click on install and that should install it as a fabric mod and you should be able to use fabric and iris and sodium at the same time depending on if you guys have a mods folder already inside your directory you may get this message that says an existing mods folder was found in the selected game directory do you want to update install iris so go ahead and select yes if you guys don't actually have a mods folder it's a clean install of the new launcher you may not get that message so let's close this down we can go back inside the minecraft launcher now and take a look so again you won't actually see fabric appear or iris shaders 
So we're actually going to create a new installation. So you click on the installation section over here. We can now click on new installation like so. And where it says version, we can actually click this drop down box. And now, as you guys can see, I do have a input here for release fabric loader 0.11.7 for version 1.17.1. So I can now click this section here. Let's go ahead and name this fabric and iris shaders. Let's go ahead and also change the icon. So you guys can actually go ahead and change the icon to whatever you want to. Let's go ahead and select this icon. There we go. I'm also going to give myself four gigs of RAM allocation. I'm going to change the 2G and the JVM arguments to 4G. There we go. I'm going to click on create and as you guys can see, I've now got a installation here that says fabric and iris shaders. And it says fabric loader 0 0.11.7 for version 1.17.1. And this is on the new Minecraft launcher. All right, so now we can actually go ahead and download some shaders because that's why we're going to be using iris shaders is to actually play the game with shaders. And thanks to you actually having fabric as well, because we ticked that box, we can actually go ahead and install mods as well. So I'm going to show you guys how to quickly just download some shaders and install them and play the game with shaders. Just open up your internet browser again and in your search bar this time type in continuum shaders or continuum graphics and as you guys can see we have a website here that says continuum dot graphics continuum shaders so click on that link over there and we're going to download the continuum shaders scroll down to find the download links so and look for where it says continuum downloads click on that and we should see the downloads page and look for the free download section i'm going to download the latest version of the free version of the continuum shaders which is a version 2.0.4 click on download and that should give me the option to download it i'm going to place this file on my desktop Top. This is a zip file. I'm going to show you guys how to install the Continuum shaders now. All right, so as you guys can see, I've placed the Continuum zip file on my desktop. Now I can go back into the game. We could finally now launch Fabric and Iris shaders from this section here. I'm going to click on the play button here and click this checkbox and click on play again. And that should hopefully launch the game with Iris shaders and Sodium and Fabric as well, all bundled into one. This is why I was saying that the Iris installer is really clever. It gives us all those options into one selection there. So let's wait for the game to now load up. All right, so as you guys can see, the game has now launched and I'm gonna maximize this window here. And now I can actually go into options and click on video settings. You can see that the video settings section here has changed. This is actually part of Sodium. So this is what Sodium looks like. It changes the video settings. We can now click on shader packs over here. You guys can see that there's no shader packs here. I'm going to click on this button here that says open shader pack folder and that should basically open up this folder. I'm going to minimize my Minecraft screen now and I'm going to drag the Continuum Shaders zip file into the shader packs folder like so. And then we can close this down, go back into the game and then click on this bit here that says refresh shader packs. And as you guys can see, it now shows the continuum shaders on there. I can then click on apply and then done and close. And I can now go back into my game, which I created earlier. And hopefully that will load shaders into my game. So let's just wait for that to now load up. So as you guys can see, we are now playing the game with iris shaders and sodium and fabric. And we do have these cool looking continuum shaders loaded as well we've got the moving grass there we've got moving trees as you guys can see over here we've got the moving leaves on the trees there we've got some nice water and some nice reflections and some nice clouds as well i really do like the continuum shaders i think they are doing a really nice job with these as well if i press the f3 on my keyboard you guys can see from the console there that it is showing on the right hand side sodium renderer 0 0.3.2 plus iris 2 and that's build 9 so we do have the iris and sodium and as you guys can see at the bottom there it does say iris version 1.1.2 this is build 9 and if you look at the top left there does say minecraft 1.17.1 fabric loader and this is version 0.11.7 of the fabric loader okay so now that we have installed our shaders so iris shaders is working with the new minecraft launcher as you guys can see and as i mentioned earlier this process might actually change in the future so you might just be able to just click on the iris installer option and just install it as normal and it would show up on your new minecraft launcher but for now this is how you install iris shaders for the new Minecraft launcher. And hopefully you guys would be able to download and install Iris shaders 
for the new Minecraft launcher and then you guys will be able to play with shaders and mods at the same time. If you guys do have any comments or queries about how to download and install Iris shaders on the new Minecraft launcher then do leave them in the comment section below. If you guys are having problems with the new Minecraft launcher as well do leave them in the comment section below or you guys can check out the link to the tutorial I did on how to upgrade your Minecraft launcher to the new Minecraft launcher and then leave it in the comment section there as well. If you did enjoy this video, then please do give it a like and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.